told you that you were the original Jew? How did you hear about that? Like I said, it's in the Bible. The Bible. I know, but somebody book. had to bring it to your attention. I told you that the God himself, the Most High himself, called me out of my, my disobedience and led me into the scriptures and showed me that I was a Hebrew Israelite. And this is happening all over the world. This ain't just happening with me. You are considered a Hebrew Israelite by blood if you were so-called Negro in America. So were you, have you always been a Hebrew Israelite? Were you a Christian before that? Yeah, I actually uh, woke up probably around like 15 years ago. I used to go to church every Sunday. I actually heard a voice from the Most High leading me and guiding me. And he took me to Deuteronomy chapter 28. And he showed me that the Bible is a Bible is a history book. It's not a religious book. It's not about uh, uh, Baptist, Jehovah Witness. Uh, seven day of Venice, all these different things. It's actually a history book. And we are actually in the book and we are the main characters in the book. And so when I found out that I was a Hebrew Israelite, I was at first I was sad because what actually happened was the children of Israel went against the most high and we got put in a punishment. And this is all a part of Deuteronomy 28 for anybody that's listening. And so, Yanni, you're married to Malik, Malak. Malak, yes. Malak. Yes. And were you a Christian prior to me? Yes, I was raised actually in a Baptist church growing up. Really? And, I, and so you became a, a Israelite, absolutely. Hebrew Israelite. And what's the difference in being a Christian and being a Israelite, Hebrew Israelite? Well, the Israelite. difference is being a Christian, those are all man-made religions. So like my husband Malak was saying that a Hebrew Israelite is our culture, our heritage, our nationality. It's who we are as a people. Meaning so that you are a Jew? Yes. You a Jew? I'm a Jew. Are you the original Jew? According to the Bible and the scriptures, yes, we are the original Jews. Yes, we are. <laughs> and so did your life change as a result of, of becoming a Jew rather than a Christian? Yes, it did. In because in regards to when I say everything, I change everything from my diet, the things that I ate. Before, when I was going to church, although we read out of the same Bible, we weren't following those laws that are written in that Bible. How long have you been married? We've been married for six years. Is he the head of you? Yes. He is the head. So you're the head of your wife. That's correct. And what does that mean to be the head of your wife? Be the head of my wife means being a strong leader in my household, being a, a provider, being a nurturer of the Bible, and spiritually, mentally, and physically through the power of the Most High. And so the the white skin people in Israel uh, and other places who say that they are Jews, they are not the Jews. No, they're not. And who are they? So these are converts that came in and took our identity when we went into slavery. So you're saying blacks are the original Jews? Yes. Are you like wholly convinced of that? I know that for a fact. And how has it helped you to see yourself as a Jew? Well, it gave me my identity back because that's what everybody that's in right. America is basically uh, experiencing right now is an identity crisis, not knowing who they are. We walking around with amnesia because they telling us that we was Africans when we came over here and not telling us where we came from Africa. They wasn't grabbing regular Africans. They was grabbing the Hebrew Israelites. And so the blacks who were selling blacks, you had the black kings and higher up or selling the underclass blacks in Africa, did they know they were selling Jews? Yes, they did. They knew that. Yes. Uh, seeing yourself as a Jew, does that make you feel better about yourself? Well, like I said, it, it, when you have your identity back, you can know when you know where you came from, you can know where you're going. That's right. Now, the Bible was really real powerful because the whole Bible was about the Hebrew Israelites. It's a lot of prophecies that's going to take place. And without you having an understanding about who you are in the book, you will have no understanding about what's about to take place in the earth. Who told you that you were the original Jew? How did you hear about that? Like I said, it's in the Bible. The Bible. I know, but somebody book. had to bring it to your attention. I told you that the God himself, the Most High himself, called me out of my, my disobedience and led me into the scriptures and showed me that I was a Hebrew Israelite. And this is happening all over the world. This ain't just happening with me.
The reason yes. I ask because I've interviewed other Hebrew uh -huh. Israelites, you know, the ones in Vegas, but there's another group here in L.A., okay. and they wear, like, warrior clothes. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So there seemed to be a split between who, is, who are the real Israelites or even a monster blacks. No, 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 no. We are one family. But y'all fight amongst each other, though. No. What, what, what but do they don't like this, you know, <laughs> this set and don't like that set and don't like that set. Well, it's, it's, if, go okay, ahead. it's just like any other family. Take, for instance, your blood family, right? right? You may have disagreements, oh, okay. but you're still going to love your family. So let me ask, prior to becoming a, a, a Jew, you had this emptiness inside, like something was missing, like a void, like something wrong, right? Is that right? Yes. yes. Okay. And so once you became a Jew, did that boy, was that boy taken away from you? Were you fulfilled completely? It, it basically gave me the understanding because I always wanted to know why we was hated so much. And we never did nothing to anybody. Who hate you? The other nations, uh, the so-called Caucasians, the Japanese, the Chinese, everywhere we go, we hate it. And I didn't understand why we was hated so much. But then when I read the Bible, it gave me the understanding and let me understand why our people were being hated so much. When you, so like, did becoming a Jew fulfill that void deep down in your soul? Oh, it did. So you don't have that void anymore? Yeah, because now I have understanding knowing that the reason why we in the situations that we're in is because we didn't serve our God the way we're supposed to. Yeah. When you say the so-called white Oh, Caucasian. What do you mean by so-called? They don't really exist? Because uh, white is is just a label that they get. That's not who they're it's called the in the Bible. What yeah. So what are they? Who are they? Uh, in the Bible, they could be Japheth or they could be Esau. Oh, that's a tribe? Yeah, in the Bible. So, but, so they shouldn't be called white people or Caucasians? No, I didn't say that they couldn't. I just say so-called because I try to stick directly with what the Bible would say. Uh, I don't understand what the purpose of getting into this kind of stuff. Well, How is that going to help anyone? Do you love white people? I love everybody. How about white people? I love everybody. No, just... Most, I, most I told me not to hate nobody. Do you right. love white people? I, I love everybody who love me. How, how about white people? <laughs> everybody. <laughs> 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 Let me explain something to you. I know, but answer that first. Being a Hebrew with... Israelite is not a racist thing. Right. It's it's a it's a awakening. It's an awakening that's taking place for you to get back what has been taken from you. It's not about us fighting amongst each other right. or anything like that. We know that we're being oppressed by white people. We're being oppressed by other nations. Period. It ain't just them. We're being oppressed by people who don't believe in the Most High, who don't want to keep right. commandments. So anybody that's unrighteous, and I'm saying all white people ain't, ain't, ain't righteous. I'm just saying anybody, anybody who's unrighteous, that's where we having an issue with. So do you love white people? I love everybody. But I'm only asking about white people only. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep saying everybody because I don't want to exclude nobody. And do you love white people? I love all people. Uh, do you love white people? Are the they Caucasian. considered people? We, well, they're the we're only not people the, I'm asking uh, about. We love racist. white people. <laughs> Look, I have I have uh, friends that are, are from the Caucasian race. Do you love white people? The Caucasian. Caucasian is, is white. Right. Do you so, love them? I love everybody. You said that white people and other people are oppressing black people, right? Yes. Am I right? Yeah. You don't if, think you're under oppression right now? In what way are they oppressing black people? Okay. Well, first of all, um, probably like 70% of our, our people were in jail, right? Right. In prison. Um, gang activity and drug activity is set up by the government. Um, if I wanted to go get a loan, right, in a bank or whatever, they, they will probably turn me down. Why? Well, other nations can come over here that don't even live here and get a loan off the bat. Why wouldn't they let you have a loan at the bank? If you went to the bank and said, hey, I'd like to get a loan, they would say no to you? More than, I, I have tried to get a loan a couple of times and I had all of the qualifications that they asked me for. And they did and not. Then they, they made me jump through a million hoops. Right. And then other people that I know that's not of the same ethnicity as myself, they can go in there and get a loan. I was about to pay him to go get a loan for me. But so do they <laughs> So they didn't let you have it because you were black? I believe that's that's the reason. You believe the same thing? 
we go through a lot of things with that we our eyes are open now to a lot of things we may not have saw before so little things like that we recognize is it is it possible that due to your anger toward them that you may live in be living in an illusion who has we don't have, it has nothing to do with your color 